When you stand up for yourself, you give others permission to be in their power as well. I remember another instance from years ago while working as a massage therapist. The owner of the yoga massage studio was a lovely lady who could never pay me on time. This came shortly after I declared personal bankruptcy. Trust me, I learned my, lef my lessons in life the hard way. Now I ask for toothpicks instead of two by four wake up calls. Thank you very much. I had just gone bankrupt. I was filled with shame, regret, self loathing, and speak up and ask this lady to pay me on time it might sound like a simple thing to do for most people. It ate at my nerves day in and day out. I was not happy about this and terrified that if I told her how I really felt, I would risk losing my job and then I would be really screwed. Fear was running my life back in those days. I really gave all my power away and had very little self-confidence. I'd picked up this multi-level marketing gig, miraculously had an $800 check rolling in, and with it found some confidence and grew some balls to stand up to this woman. I walked into her office and I asked her point blank, why is it so hard for you to pay me on time every month? I showed up and worked. I did my job and I needed to get paid on time so I could pay my own bills and meet my own obligations. Well, she opened up and explained that she had a hard time getting other therapists to hand in their timesheets on time and they delayed her and that delayed her from getting the accounting done. I was stunned. Here's this woman who ran the show, unable to set her own boundaries and enforce rules for her own employees. I had told her that others' bad behavior should in no way affect my pay on time, my being paid on time. I told her to give people a date to hand in their timesheets and if they don't do it, then they don't get paid until you find the time, period. From then on, I was paid on time. I also realized something else. My speaking up, standing up for myself, taking my power back and asking for what I want gave this woman, this boss of mine, permission to do the exact same thing. Vanessa Simpkins from TakeYourPowerBackNow.com. I'm reading from my book, Take Your Power Back Now, and I'd love to give you a copy. If you've enjoyed that little excerpt, you go to my website and download the ebook. Uh, the website again is takeyourpowerbacknow.com. And this is a huge topic. We're talking about standing up for yourself and asking for what you want and owning your value. And it's a huge topic that I help women entrepreneurs with, especially women when we're talking about sales, we're talking about entrepreneurship. You know, why are you negotiating your value? Why is it hard for you? to ask for what you deserve. And, and a lot of this has to do with our beliefs, right? A lot of this, maybe there's a belief that you have inside that says you don't deserve it, or maybe that money has to come with pain, or that maybe love has to come with pain. I know I had to look at a lot of these and transform these inner, these inner decisions because your outer life is really just a reflection of the thoughts and the beliefs that you think. So today is video four of the 30 day take your power back now challenge. And I want to thank you from my, the bottom of my heart for following along and sharing uh, your voice, your opinions, showing up, commenting here in the videos, sharing them on your wall to inspire more women. And of course, to help me get this book into the hands of women around the world so that they can take their power back and thrive. My name is Vanessa Simpkins. I love you. Have an amazing day. And if you found this inspirational, please share it on your wall and help more women get a copy of this book.